going to install uh, the posts for the deck. Um, these are the old posts and as you can see they're notched. You can see how it's notched right here. Um, this takes away half the strength of, to me, it takes away half the strength of the deck. And you can see that they they lag bolted it, or you know, lag screwed, not even bolted, they lag screwed it. And, uh, but, you know, it was kind of rickety, and it would give, and you, know, you can see how this one is. This one was notched, only a quarter of the strength of, of the post is what was holding these posts in. So we got to come up with a better kind of solution with this. And um, I was doing some research, just surfing the web. You know, I'm a DIY guy. Uh, and it's not like I have uh, professional experience uh, doing work like this. Uh, I just, you know, just trying to improve and do more challenging projects and just build off of that. And, um, <clears throat> you know, just the logic behind cutting three quarters of this post out just to screw it in I mean it really makes no sense uh, and like I said when people would grab the deck touch onto the railing it would shake and stuff so I mean this is it gets it done I mean it looks like it it, it looks good but to me it just wasn't strong enough well, it might be because it's also the deck was built in 2003 so Maybe and it's 2018 now. So, um, so this is uh, what we're doing. I put a just a piece of of scrap wood right here just to hold on to the 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 base, just to hold the 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 four by four up right here. This is where the old lag screws were and how you know how it it's not flush. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use a screwdriver, my little chisel, and just get some of that extra stuff off because you want it to be flush. You want everything to be flush when you put it on. Yeah, and I, I just can't imagine when whoever, you know, the previous owner of this house, when they had it done, they just wanted the deck done. But I would think the... The contractor would, would come up with a better solution than this. This is, doesn't make sense. Or well, maybe those this was back is how it was in 2003. But to me, logically, it just didn't make sense. So now this is all flush. All right. Port. Four by four. We're gonna put it down like that. Um. You know, a lot of times I'm working by myself, so we got to come up with solutions that function if I can work by myself. Put that, I got a couple little, little screws right here. That's just to, just to hold the wood in place. Just to hold the wood in place. I just cut this blocking and these are the materials that we're going to be using so these are the ledger locks there's going to be four ledger locks uh, they're three and five eight inch screws and these two are the through locks to replace uh, instead of half inch uh, lag bolts much better the easier it's faster to use and these are three and a half inch uh, spacks exterior deck screws so that's what we're going to be using uh, to ensure that I have a nice and sturdy deck post
That's the one of the... So now I'm going to measure a piece of wood, some more blocking right here, pinch it in between here. As you can see, lateral, this forward and back motion is pretty, it's pretty secure, but this side to side motion is not. So put a little blocking right here, and I'm going to hit it with four stack screws, one here, here, and here, and here. All right, so I just took off the the part that was holding up this uh, this post. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece in here. Okay. So now we're going to put the through locks. The two eight, eight inch through locks through in place of the half the half inch galvanized lag bolts. Screw it, the washer. Okay, so this is the where the temporary screw was just to hold it. Um I'm, I'm gonna put a bolt here. Going through this way, put a bolt right through here, maybe right here. That'd be better. And then I'm gonna put the bolt, the second bolt, maybe through. Try to come over like an inch through here. Come over an inch, come down. So maybe about right there. So I didn't screw it all the way in, so you just got it all the way through. Alright, so then I twist the I don't know, it's like the I guess the nut part of it. Twist the nut part until the until it's onto the wood. So that's another post done. All right, guys. So this is just for some detail. So this is this is the this is the post, right? It's a four by four post. Okay, four foot long post. All right, and this is blocking two by two by ten blocking. Okay, I attached. I attached this 2x10 blocking with uh, ledger locks, so four ledger locks, so two, one going here, and one going down here, and then you have another one here, and then another one down there, so this is nice and secure. Then I added another piece of blocking on this side of uh, the post, and... I used uh, three and a half exterior screws, 
four of them, one here, one down there, and then two on this side over here. And these are the, instead of using um, the half inch lag bolts, I used uh, two through locks. And I mean, I gotta say, I do like this product. It might have been a little bit more expensive, I guess. Uh, but this post came up quick and um, it is uh, very solid. All right. So I would have to say I like this idea of how to, to block it. I got this idea. Um, I can't even I can't even remember where I got the idea from. I was just surfing the web. I'll post I'll post the the link in the video. But it was a great idea. And that's it. It's a good solution. It's nice and secure. Don't even move. Well it moves a tiny bit, but that's at the very top. But it is really secure. UAV online. Okay. Ah, feel like it's summoning in a ray. Everybody pick random. Random, random. Everybody pick random. Ah, it's the fire and rage. Ooh. I'm good with that. You good with that? Hell yeah, I'm good with that. All right, let's go, man. 13.5 KDR, baby. Let's go. You know it's no competition. You know I just got him. Running around the fire and rage. Yelling, got Welcome to Call of Duty, the spy planes on the fly. Never alone, I got my clan with me, I for an eye. I got a problem, dude, hit me with a shoddy pump. Before I respawned, I had to go and pop my trunk. Cop the commando and dressed it in the camo. Now I'm in the wreck, feeling like Rambo. Where I spawn, dude, really wanna squat and rest. It's all good, I introduced him to some Simtex. Now I'm on the